Hi everybody, this is a really quick video just to show you how in StatCrunch to select the data that you need whenever you're doing comparisons of groups. And there's two ways to do it. One is using the group by feature and the other is using the where feature. And I'll show you how to do both. In StatCrunch, let's use the anchor experiment data as our example. Suppose I wanted to make a graph. The graph might be a dot plot that I'm interested in making and I want to show all of the estimates. The group by feature allows me to create separate dot plots based on the year or the version. These are categorical variables. If I chose year, for instance, and created dot plots, notice that now it breaks them down according to the particular years. I could also have done the group by feature using the version, and it would have created dot plots that show me the different version the group by feature does have a drawback though, and that's that it always uses all of the categories. Sometimes that's not what you want to do, so let me show you a different example. Um, suppose we wanted to do a randomization test for these. So in the applets, a resampling randomization test for two means. So in other words, I don't want to use all three categories that are available, but maybe only two of them. So what I'll do here is I will choose uh, the estimate, that's the data that I want to include in the randomization, but I'll include the where option and let me slide this window over a little bit so you can see what's going on. The where allows me to indicate, well I want to use I want to use a particular version, that's all I want you to select here, and I have to tell it what the version is. So version equals, and now I have to include in quotes exactly the version that I want. So there's the high version. Notice that um, capitalization is important, so with the variable name had to be capital V because it's listed as capital V in the data set itself, and I had to put the, the actual entry for the variable high as the high anchor in quotes. And then for sample 2, again I pick estimate, but this time now I want to pick version equals and then quotes low for the low anchor. Once I push compute now, notice that it is ready to compare the high and the low for the estimates. So that's all I wanted to tell you. Um, hopefully that helps you to do your homework better. If you have any questions, please let me know.